In Module 9 we will cover epidemiologic methods, components of epidemiologic research, and study design. We will first talk about epidemiology. According to LAST in 1988, epidemiology refers to the study of the distribution and determinants of health-related states or events in specified populations, and the application of this study to the control of health problems. There are two fundamental assumptions in epidemiology. One human disease is not random. Two human disease has causal and preventative factors that can be identified through scientific investigation of different populations or subgroups of individuals within a population Hennekens. 1987 The primary goal of epidemiology is to identify the determinants of health and disease to decrease mortality death and morbidity a diseased condition or state within a population color. 1987 Physical activity epidemiology, therefore, focuses on physical activity within populations and investigates how physical activity levels impact health and disease to decrease mortality and morbidity. Physical activity epidemiology typically incorporates both the assessment of physical activity, as well as, intervention efforts focusing on increasing physical activity. About 30 years ago, Researchers had suggested that low levels of physical activity were associated with increased risk of heart disease and overall mortality. Because heart disease is and was the leading cause of death in the US and European Union countries, physical activity emerged as an important public health concern. Therefore, the US Public Health Service initiated surveillance programs to quantify the leisure time physical activity patterns in the US population from the 1980s. You may want to describe your level of physical activity, such as do you participate in moderate physical activity for at least 30 minutes per day? Do you participate in vigorous physical activity for 20 minutes per session, three times per week? In fact, from 1940s to 1960s, there were a number of early observational studies to investigate the relationship between physical activity and health outcomes. These studies are particularly important to the development of the field of physical activity epidemiology. Because they were the first to develop methods for measuring physical activity and to systematically study the link between physical activity and a life-threatening disease. These studies included but are not limited to Framingham Heart Study, London Busman slash British Civil Servants, Tecumseh Health Study, Harvard Alumni Health Study, Minnesota Studies. Here I would like to list two objectives of Healthy People 2010 for adolescents. Increase the proportion who engage in vigorous physical activity that promotes cardiorespiratory fitness three or more days per week for 20 or more minutes per occasion. And increase the proportion who engage in moderate physical activity for at least 30 minutes on five or more of the previous seven days. For adults increase the proportion who engage regularly preferably daily, in moderate physical activity for at least 30 minutes per day. And increase the proportion who engage in in vigorous physical activity that promotes the development and maintenance of cardiorespiratory fitness three or more days per week for 20 or more minutes per occasion. Epidemiologic methods are used to provide backbone for public health endeavors, including one quantify the magnitude of health problems, Two, identifying factors that cause diseases. Three, provide quantitative guidance for the allocation of public health resources. Four, monitor the effectiveness of prevention strategies using population-wide surveillance programs. In this module, we will define epidemiology, describe methods of measuring physical activity in epidemiology studies, describe epidemiologic study designs. Consider threats to the validity to these designs, and provide an outline for reading and interpreting an epidemiologic study. Components of epidemiologic research include distribution, determinants, and application. Distribution of disease relates to the frequency and patterns of disease occurrence in a population. 
frequency, or how often the disease occurs, is typically measured as the prevalence, incidence, morality rate of a disease. Patterns of disease occurrence refer to characteristics related to person, place, time. Socioeconomic status. Characteristics of place include geographic differences, urban-rural variation, and differences in types of occupations. Time of disease occurrence refers to annual, seasonal, or daily patterns of occurrence. Determinants are defined characteristics associated with change in health. In physical activity research, the goals are usually to test the hypothesis that activity is or is not a determinant for a particular disease outcome, or to identify the determinant of physical activity behaviors. Application is translation of knowledge to practice. Application of the understanding of the causal factors related to disease is a major goal of public health. Therefore, once epidemiologists have identified what causes disease, health educators interact with communities to make them healthier places to live. Other names for the application of research in a community setting are translation and dissemination. Application includes a variety of methods, such as motivating people to change their behaviors, or affect public policy like building bike path in certain areas. There are two main approaches that investigators can use to determine if physical inactivity plays a role in the development of a specific disease or condition. In the observational study design, levels of physical activity participation are self-selected by the participant. Typically, individuals will differ by characteristics confounders, other than physical activity participation, that may influence the disease or outcome of interest. Of the two main approaches, the experimental study design is more powerful and conclusive than the observational study design. It is more conclusive because the levels of physical activity are not self-selected by the participant. Individuals are randomly assigned to a group that is encouraged to participate in physical activity or to a reference group. All study participants are followed for a period of time and development of disease or health outcome is compared between groups. Random assignment or randomization implies that each individual has the same chance of being in any of the available study groups. The randomization process removes any potential clinician and slash or patient biases about who receives the physical activity intervention. Also, Randomization ensures equal distribution of potential confounding variables age, body mass index, etc. among exposure groups. The equal distribution of confounding variables will lead to a clearer picture of the association between physical activity and the disease or health outcome of interest. In general, there are three types of epidemiological approaches. One descriptive epidemiology is seeking to identify patterns or trends in disease, injury, or death. It includes cross-sectional designs and ecological designs. Two analytic epidemiology is seeking to determine causation of disease, injury, or death. It includes cohort studies and case control studies. Three experimental designs is used to test the validity of the observational findings through randomized controlled trials. These approaches are very common in public health fields. Descriptive epidemiology are defined as general observations concerning the relationship of diseases to basic characteristics such as age, sex, race, occupation, social class, or geographic location. It is the first line of investigation. Major objectives of descriptive studies are 1. Quantify the magnitude of health problem, 2. Identify population subgroups that may have higher rates, and 3. Develop hypotheses about factors that may be a determinant of the disease.